you might think an apple is just an apple. But here with us from How Does It Grow is Nicole, and she's going to tell us a lot of things about apples you didn't know yet. Yes, because we don't know anything about apples, right, Nicole? <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> I have a bunch of apple facts that will blow your mind. Are you ready? Yes, let's hear them. Okay. So first, you might think that the seed inside your apple would grow the same kind of apple, right? Well, each apple seed is genetically unique. It will grow a completely different apple from the one it came out of. And that's sort of like how humans don't clone themselves, right? Well, apples don't either. Which brings me to my second fact, which is when you go shopping, right, you see maybe half a dozen types of apples. Yeah. Well, really, there are a whopping 7,500 varieties of apples in the world. Can you believe it? So there is a lot more than just the Granny Smith. <laughs> yes, yes, that's for sure. And it's really just a simple um, explanation of supply and demand. Okay, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, how do you think uh, an apple grows on a tree? Um, it starts out small and then goes bigger? <laughs> sort of. It starts out as a flower, actually, and once it's pollinated by a bee or an insect, it turns into fruit. And in fact, I have an apple here, and if you look at the underside of any apple, you'll see what looks like kind of tiny petals. And that's really the remnant of the flower that this apple used to be. And of course, most vegetables and fruits start out as flowers, and once they're pollinated, they turn into food. But but back to apples. <laughs> so the last fact I, fact I have for you is, um, you know how we get to eat apples year round, uh, but the harvest actually only happens between late summer and late fall. So how are we able to do that? Well, most farmers put their apples into low oxygen storage, which slows down the ripening process and sort of puts the apples to sleep. So they can ship apples all year round to the grocery stores. So these could be potentially really old apples. <laughs> Hopefully within a year old. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, Nicole, for sharing with us again. And uh, for more stories about food and how it grows, check out interconnection.com.